Hi everyone, uh, who, don't know, do, who don't know me, my name is Norbert Anush and I'm going to talk about the differences between TypeScript and JavaScript languages today. Well. So, uh, what is TypeScript actually? This is a free and open source programming language developed and designed by Microsoft. Uh, this shouldn't come as a real surprise as Microsoft has an increased focus on open source software and cross-platform cross development in the recent years. Uh, TypeScript itself is a type superset of JavaScript and it tries to address its shortcom shortcomings. Uh, let's be honest with ourselves, it, uh, the, the list of shortcomings is quite big, so that, that's why developers of other languages don't, don't take JavaScript seriously. Uh, be be before, going before going into details, let's have a look at the big picture, how these things come together. So both ES2015, uh, which is the current ECMAScript standard, and TypeScript uh, transpires into common JavaScript, which can be interpreted properly in our current browsers, because they might have a different level of Im implementation of the current standard. For this purpose, uh, ES2015 uses Babel, and TypeScript uses its own compiler, wi which is written, ri written in the same language. Let's have a look at the evolution pipeline on of the language. Uh, after two years of internal development, uh, in which the father of C-Sharp, Anders Heisberg, was involved, the language was made, publi made public in 2012. In 2014, it, re it reached a stable release, and after a few minor releases this January, they rolled out uh, V1.8, uh, which approximately covers 60% of the current ES2015 feature set uh, through compilers and poly poly polyfills, uh, compared to that 74% uh, that Babel provides. Uh, there are some experimental features which is already included in uh, TypeScript from future ECMAScript standards, yes, 2016, and there are more to come. Uh, let's see what are the key differences between current JavaScript, the current and future standards, and TypeScript itself. So the current standard has already in introduced various things for what we already ha had a desperate need for, like classes, modules, arrow functions, or otherwise called lambdas. On top of this, uh, ES2016 has a proposal for decorators, uh, which is already included in, type, in TypeScript as an experimental feature. Uh, but the real power of TypeScript comes with types, and beyond that it supports generics and interfaces, which makes it quite a strong language. Uh, let's look at the basic feature set of the language. So among basic types, uh, it supports tuples, uh, which might be familiar to you from sc uh, Scala. Uh, tuples, uh, the tuple construct uh, construction allows developers to work with arrays in a richer way, as just shown in the uh, top right example. Uh, we have a specific type called any, uh, which provides the backwards compatibility, and with the, u with the use of it, you can easily opt in and opt out for compile time, time check type checking. Uh, you might be familiar with the concept of generics, and yes, I it's there in TypeScript. Uh, with the help of it, you can define typed uh, arrays, functions, interfaces, and classes, and you even have the possibility to uh, set constraints on, wha on what T can be. There is only one thing that I would like to highlight, is that when you are creating factories in TypeScript using generics, then you will have to refer to cl uh, class types by their construct constructor functions, uh, just like on the given example. Uh, in TypeScript, you can use interfaces, and there might be special scenarios when not all properties of an interface may be required. So for that reason, you can use optionals. Uh, wha when you are dealing with object literals and you are uh, setting them as, variab uh, as values or passing them around as function, uh, function arguments, then they get, a special uh, they get a special treatment and they undergo uh, access property checks which means when an object literal has additional properties beyond that the target type defines, then the, uh, uh, the compiler will throw us an error. Uh, beyond basic stuff like function and class type interfaces, there, uh, there is an in interesting thing called indexable type, uh, which can be seen in the uh, bottom right, uh, in the top right corner. Uh, they are used to uh, index into various constructs. In TypeScript, an interface can extend the class, which means that it inher inherits all of its members, but not their implementation. Uh, I mentioned decorators earlier to you. Uh, you can think of decorators as an interface to build up something like, which will end up as a uh, Java-like annotation. Uh, you, uh, you can attach decorators to various things like classes, methods, accessors, properties, or, or even parameters, and you can create even composition from these decorators. Uh, on a given example, if you attach the FNG decorators on a, on a given method, 
then the actual expression I expressions will be evaluated in a t in a, in a top-down fashion, and the results are uh, applied in a in a bottom-up order, which means that the console will log out f evaluated, uh, g evaluated, g cold, and f cold at the end. Let's talk about the advanced features of the language. So we are talking about declaration merging when we are planning to merge together two different or two or more different uh, declarations with the same name into one single definition. Uh, this can, can come handy if you are planning to merge together multiple interfaces or namespaces, or you can do this with a namespace with different functions, classes, or enums as well. However, there are a couple of exceptions. So, for example, you cannot really merge together two classes with the same name because the compiler uh, will catch it. Uh, let's drop a word or two on type inference. So, when we are not providing uh, an explicit type, type annotation, then the inference will be made from the, from the value that we are assigning. Uh, when the actual uh, inference is made up from several, several expressions, then the language uses the best common type alg algorithm. Uh, which, uh, which tries to find the best common type. Uh, if it cannot be found, then the language will default to an empty object, which might lead, with le which might lead to errors because you want to access a non-existing property or function on an empty object. Uh, we are talking about contextual typing, which can be seen in the in the bottom example. So in this case, the type of mouse mouse event mouse event is inferred by the uh, function, which is the on mouse down function on the window object. If we try to access the button property of it with a single T, the compiler will catch it. However, if we use our Joker card called any, then we can avoid this uh, compilation error. Let's talk about mixins. Uh, you might be familiar with this from, from Scala as well. Uh, you can use mixins to create more complex classes from simpler partial classes. So on the given example, if we have a disposable and activatable simple classes, then we can implement these as interfaces of the new smart object class, which means that it will inherit all of its members, but because we would like to avoid uh, to implement the uh, functions of the super classes, we need to provide standing properties with proper types. Uh, however, this is not enough, because we will have to use an additional helper function, which is called apply mixing in this case, which will do, do the proper mixing of the classes for us. Uh, let's talk about the development tools and the community itself. So because of the fact that the language itself is a child of Microsoft, it's fairly obvious that their flagship ID, Microsoft Visual Studio and Microsoft Visual Code has a proper language support. Uh, but beyond those, uh, IntelliJs or, or yeah, so, so WebStorm has, has a proper TypeScript compiler and we have IntelliSense feature in, in that one as well. Beyond those, in Eclipse and Sublime Text, there are various plugins that you can use to work with the language. Uh, there are various uh, famous uh, frameworks which, which embrace the usage of, usage, usage of TypeScript. Uh, for example, the Aurelia framework, the Ionic framework, or the Dojo, Dojo Toolkit. I would like to mention that the Angular team uh, started to develop Angular, Angular 2 in a language called Ascript, which had lots in common with TypeScript. So last year, they made an agreement with Microsoft and dropped uh, their own language in favor for TypeScript. There is a page called definitelytype.org on, on which there are many high quality user community maintained type definitions. So it's worth starting to look around at that page and you can find best practices on how to build up your own types as well. Let's wrap up all these things. So the language itself has quite good tooling uh, because of the fact that it provides additional features on top of JavaScript. It can greatly increase the productivity when, when developing and, and working with large-scale applications. It's quite easy to learn, especially if you have solid grounds in type languages or in JavaScript. Uh, the, types are uh, the types are only optional and they are just syntactic sugar, but they can make a real difference. If you would like to run your TypeScript code in your browsers, then you will have to do an extra compilation step. But I think this is not an issue because as long as all browsers will, will be uh, ES2015 compliant, you will have to do this anyway with Babel as well. Uh, there is only one thing that I can think of as an issue, is that uh, Microsoft may differ from the standard, and they are not bound by the standards. Uh, ha ha however, however, I think that if they keep up the good work and, and implement all the features of the current and future standards, then we will have the old features available. This can make the uh, language a, a, is, a, is a great new starter. And I think that's it. <laughs>